Hey everybody, the Reese here, and welcome to Earthlock Festival of Magic. This is a game I actually got free with, um, Games with Gold. The, the day it, like, the day it was released on Xbox One was the day it was on, uh, Games with Gold. It was very weird, but also incredible because it was like, this game's a new release, and it's free. That's awesome. <laughs> And it's actually a pretty good game. From uh, what I've played, it plays like a very, uh, like a rather old school turn-based RPG. Loot. Search dun dungeons to find chests as they contain crafting materials, ammo, talents, recipes, and potions. Yeah, it plays very much like a traditional RPG in that there's not voice acting for the characters, so they all just have a boatload of Oh, the ruins of the past shrouded in mystery. I thought this was voice, but clearly not. But yeah, none of the characters voice, it's just a wall of text. Legends claim men bowed in fear and awe of a mythical a mythic civilization, something of an era. <laughs> Godlike harsh rulers who harnessed Amri, the magical energy they stored in our planet's core. There was an uprising in the midst of war, Umbra shook the ground or shook and ground to a halt, the Amri car burst, spilling across the lands that day and night had split in two, volcanoes erupted. Tsunamis rose. And when the sea calmed, the mythic race was but a memory and Umbra was anew. In its remains, remains flowers and beasts were tainted by Amri for good and bad. Men and others struggled on. Soon new civilizations grew. Now Umbra is calm. In the north of in in the north the Suvian Empire rules. But dark whispers dwell in the ruins of the old. Papa oh, I thought that was gonna be the end of it. Oh. It might be? That's because it is, I'm assuming. Yeah, this looks like in-game graphics, not... Um... Not a cutscene. But yeah, I got this game when it... Literally the day it came out. And it was a surprise that it... Because I looked at the release date when it, it was listed on Games With Gold. And it was listed the same day... Like, the day I looked was the day it came out. I was like... Okay, there must be a mistake or something. I was very confused. Oh yeah, we play as Ive. Whereas I'm trying... Is it Taika? 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 Just one more class, then it's the first cadet flight mission. Wait, can I open the chest? <gasps> what? I got two healing bombs and five lamps. Wish you'd be here, Mom. Be here to welcome... Me back after my first scouting mission. Oh, right, that's what I was looking at. I thought I was inspecting the bed. Okay. I can... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I want to inspect the wardrobe. I got my sling ring power glove ready. Bring on the exam. But that's what I mean when I say it's just a lot of text. It's locked. All is secured at the warehouse, Commander. Excellent, soldier. Then we can move ahead. Ive, what number are you up to? Hasn't your father taught you that it's rude to eavesdrop? I'm self-taught, Commander, and I'm not up to anything. I'm going to final combat training now. Ah, of course you are. Please forgive my harsh words. You caught me by surprise. Good luck with your exam, Cadet. Okay, itch your bow, you prick. Don't get yourself into trouble now, Cadet. I don't even know what trouble is. Please excuse... Oh, excuse us, <laughs> I'm assuming? Oh well. As long as there's not too many typos and I can make out what they're trying to say, I'm not really bothered. Ah, uh, that's what her name is. Ivory. That makes sense. Whoa. My brother is an owl and says that High Owl Lady Lumia seems a bit worried these moon runs. Wonder what's going on. Not a clue. Just one more class and some of us will be flying. Glad I studied here at the Academy and not at the Archive with those boring owls. Owls? Owl people? I heard you snook 
into the sewer canals once. That that true? I'd be terrified. I heard so many slimy rumors about that place. That's because you're a pussy. Can I not talk to everybody then? I love to use traps because they won't know. And boom, they go off And you're, when your opponent tries to melee attack you. Oh! Ah, that just reminds me of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh. You just activated my trap card! Excited about the scouting mission? I heard they're still str struggling with the goblin presence. Oh no. You're right, Taika. I need to finish up combat training so I can go fly. No, 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 no. I wanted to talk to this person. There's a chest as well. Got that stuff for it. Oh, I've. I thought it was like I've got that stuff stuff written up for you for the history exam. Cheers, bud. We got a healing bomb. All right. Let's do this. Let's ace this. There you are, Ivory. Final, final combat exam coming up. I'll be overseeing it while you fight. Everyone has to complete the exam to get their flight clearance, even the General's daughter. I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's get to it. Your Storm Dog will have to sit this one out. Okay, ready when you are. There we are. We do like a bit. It's just a tutorial to get you used to the mechanics. And as I say, it's a very... Um... Turn-based-esque. It's actually like a combination of a traditional turn base, and it reminds me of like Lord of the Rings, the third age, with the the combat, not counter, the turn order. Welcome to final combat training, Ive. We'll start with combat abilities. Combat abilities allow you to select from a list of, a list of abilities in your current stance. Using abilities in your scout stance costs both Amri, oh, Amri and one turn. Select combat abilities and attack the target. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, I see. Wait, this has changed. I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like it's changed. But to be honest, I don't remember the last time I played this game. So, Thunderfist, a melee attack that inflicts both physical crushing damage and magic electro damage. Shh, go for it. Kaboom! Oh, wow. Ive, I see you've lost health. Items give you access to potions. Select items and use potions as your health gets low. Yes, ma'am. So that must be a check. Oh, alright. You can also change the stance to use a bow. Wait, what are the settings? Oh! Like there, you're, you, you can rest. That's cool. Alright, fire trap. The melee attack that inflicts physical piercing damage and fire trap inflicts magical fire damage when the target performs a melee ability. Damage types, physical... I'm assuming that's piercing, magical, and fire. I'm just going off of what the symbols look like. The sword is obviously physical. The whatever the hell that is, the second symbol looks like it could be piercing. Kaboom! Oh wow, fire trapped OP! Oh right, I didn't realize the name was Vera. I just assumed it was a dude because it looked like one. <laughs> it's mostly the hairstyle, to be honest. Good work, next you'll fight a flying creature. Remember, you have you will have to use ranged attacks to hit it. Switch stance to access ranged abilities. Bring out whatever you got, Instructor. I don't actually know if the game's like updated the story or anything. This is new. I'm certain this is new. Maybe it has changed. Yeah, in this lesson we will cover stances. Stances give you different sets of combat abilities, allowing you to choose strategies depending on the enemy type. Your scout stance gives you access to melee abilities. Your slinger stance gives you access to range abilities. As you can see, I've the target is now flying and cannot be hit by a melee attack. Change to the slinger stance as you can, so you can attack the flying target. Change stance, slinger, boom. Does that use up a turn? Oh, it does. That sucks. Changing stances costs one turn, allowing your enemy to attack. Your stance... Oh, you can set your starting stances from the pairs menu before combat begins. Oh! So the only thing you can do is lance. That's kind of crappy. Oh, you actually have an ammo counter too. Ah, a range attack that inflicts physical piercing damage. Kabloosh! Hmm. Alright. But yeah, I don't remember doing that tutorial before. The way it worked before was this. You, you fought the two dudes. No, no, you fought the, the singular soldier, and then you fought two guys. You never fought an enemy that was in the air. Unless I'm just remembering really poorly. But as far as I'm aware, as far as I can remember, 
I don't remember fighting a flying enemy. Anyway, final lesson I have combat engagement. Enemies will attempt to engage in combat if you get close enough to them, but will give up if you get too far away. The combat countdown timer is displayed when enemies attempt to engage in combat. It shows both the number of enemies and the remaining time before combat starts. Press A to get the first turn in battle. Remember the timer runs out. Oh, before the timer runs out or the enemy gets close to strike you. The experience you gain is significantly increased by fighting more and more enemies. Be brave and bold. Gather and fight as many enemies as you dare. Approach the targets and try to engage both of them in combat. Press A to get the first turn in battle before the timer runs out or the enemies get close to strike you. On it, Instructor. Come on, Taika, we got this. I got the first turn! That's an interesting way of doing it. First strike! Taika, at the start of your turn, you generate one Amri, but you use up Amri when you perform combat abilities. The rest ability is a way of generating one extra Amri per turn. Select Utilities. Ah, uh, that's what those mean. The Utility Abilities, and use the rest ability if you do not have enough Amri to perform an ability. I also don't remember fighting with Taika before. As I say, I have not played this game in a while. You can feign death. That's hilarious. Fire Breath, Bite, Water Bomb, Six Cents. A multi-target attack... A multi-target ranged attack that inflicts water damage. Sure. Whee! Oh! I need to change back to my... My glove. Oh no, Thunderfist! He has so much health! Holy balls! Fire Breath. Flicks fire damage. What the hell is Taika? Fire trap on the chick with the bow. Oh wait, she has a bow. I don't actually think about that. Um, he can change stents. Uh, just bite. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The fire trap only attacks if they. Yeah, if they do a melee attack. I always forget that much. Yeah, just go for whoever. And then do Thunder Fist. There we go. Boom! And uh The ones that cost more Amri obviously do more damage. So she's level 5, Tyker's level 7. God, I really don't remember much. And the currency of the game is... Dollar? <laughs> dollar bill. <laughs> no one died. Okay, you do kind of look like a jerk. Never mind. Congratulations, cadets. This class marked the end of your cadet training. General Lavender will now announce the first scouting pilot uh, mission pilots. Holy crap, he's tall. A word of caution for, your se for you selected cadets. This scout patrol is routed along the burning coast, past the Zabirim Temple and the Goblin Camp, so be careful. Thank you, Vera. Listen up. The cadets that have flight clearance for the first scout mission. Punch, Judy, Sim, Ivan, Commander, uh, Ichabo will evaluate your performance and trust me, I listen to what he says. Uh, okay. You'll find the flight clearance documents on your desks. This, that will be all. Hmm. So she wasn't chosen. You serious? I'm in the top three of the class. You deliberately took my name off, didn't you? You were speaking of your commanding officer to your commanding officer, Ivory Lavender. Mind your language. When I don't think you or any other cadet is ready, they must remain here and train harder. You being my daughter has nothing to do with my decision. It has every Class dismissed. Commander Ichabo, I assume preparations are complete for my immediate departure to Anu. All is prepared, General. Oh, uh, it's to avoid getting her into danger, I guess. I have a confession. Despite all your help, I failed combat training. I wasn't going to say anything. But now that you didn't get picked, I feel bad. I don't know how I made it onto the scouting mission list. I do. My father never lets me do anything. He thinks I can't handle it, but I'll show him. Yeah, he's pretty hard on you. Least I can do is pay you back. Least I can do to pay you back is let you have my place. Punch, well, you're a good friend. Thank you so much. So we just need the documents. Come on, Tiger, let's head to the flight deck. I need the documents, don't I? Oh, never mind. I thought I had to go and get the documents. Maybe not. Before I do anything, I want to double check. Wait, if there's any chests around. 
locked. My god. Wait, that's a chest. If I've ever seen one. Hey, hey! More healing bombs. I don't know why it had plus plus, unless that just signifies that I got two of them. We fit new compressors on these mono scouts. Never paired better. Alright. Oh. Whoa. Oh, you can switch who you play as. Okay, RB and RT do the same. I wondered if there was a button to, like, move faster. But, nope. I'm here for the training mission. Do you have a monoscope for me? Do you have the flight clearance documents, Miss Lavender? Yep, I sure do. Absolutely. Here you go. Okay. Okay, I've let's get you strapped in. Hey, we did it. I don't actually know how long this game is for an RPG. It might be kind of like Rhapsody in that it's only, like, um... Not eight hours. Six hours? Five hours. No, it won't be five hours. It'll be longer than that, I think. Enemies vulnerable to different types of physical and elemental attacks. Ah. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Oh. That's close. Outside the Zabririum, oh, Zabarim Temple. Where did that fast Uncle Benjo go? I heard so much about him. I had the wind against me, boy. And I didn't. My tummy's rumbling as well. Too hungry for top speed. Yeah, yeah, all I hear are excuses. So we're here. The Zebarum Temple. Now what? Isn't it nice not knowing what's next? Doesn't that make for the most exciting adventures, huh? Yeah, you've told me a thousand times. Since you've got the patience of a toddler, I'm on. There's an, uh, undiscovered artifact in the Zebarum Temple. Herb's tip. Another one of Herb's tips. He usually has good leads. Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Let's head in. Alright, so we're now in control of Amon and... Bonjo? Was it Bonjo? Oh, there's my other save. From God knows how long ago. Benjo, not Banjo. <laughs> Uncle Banjo. Oh yeah, we have spuds. Like, I don't know, we used a spud gun or something. And Amon is only level 1. Abilities... He has stab and steal. What about... That's changing stance. How do I change? Oh, okay. RB, I should have guessed. So, that and Fire Blast. What the heck? It requires... Does it requ require anything? It's got time zero, so I'm assuming not. They also have a lot of Amory. My god. Oh, look. Oh. I was wondering how the combat played out, because I could not remember for the life of me. Yeah. But I've just realized that enemies are actually on the... Not on the screen. Ah, okay. Amon, you have a thief stance and a blaster stance to get the job done. In your thief stance, you can steal items in dollar from enemies, or use stab to deal piercing damage. Switch to the blaster stance to deliver powerful exploding elemental and elemental elemental attacks. Your blaster uses spot ammo, which can be found in the world or bought in sh shops. So remember to keep your ammo supplied. Supplies topped up. Nothing worse than running out of spuds in the middle of battle. Have I told you about the time when... Come on, Uncle Benjo. I can't wait to get started. This treasure is not going to steal itself. Ah, oh, he has... Oh, okay, we don't have any ammo for it. Spud Blast! Kabloom! Wow, we're using spuds. I want to... I want to try a stab. I'm curious just how much damage it will do. Not all that much. Hmm. I wonder. Feign death. Just rest. Yeah, I just want him to deal the... Killing blow. So then I don't use up spuds. Although, to be fair, we probably get a lot of spuds. We found a horn and a car. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. I'm curious if there's going to have anything, like, hidden around the place. Maybe. Maybe they will. Oh, there's more. Oh, hey. Two healing bombs. And that is all. Nice, we got two enemies. I should probably switch to the spud. Right, just to the spud gun. I think it'd probably be a good idea. Plus, I won't lose out on a turn. No. Switch to the blaster. Oh, I thought we got... Oh, it's just the first strike. So it doesn't take into account the speed of an enemy, basically. I didn't think about that. Spud... Oh, we're using the same spuds. 
Oh no, that's bad. No, that's awful. On the plus side, that's powerful. Nice! Next level, we need 500. 500 XP. Jesus. Hmm. What I'm curious about, however, is whether or not the... the frog statues actually heal you or not. So I don't know if they do. The Festival of Magic Tournament. It's okay, I join, right? Hmm. Well, that's not an answer. Aren't you excited about it? First time they sit set up in Zaber. It'll be fun, sure. When I was young, back in Octi... No way, you fought in the tournament? I did, I was pretty decent. You got to the finals in the capital? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. That I did. Not mm-hmm. I'm getting all these noises wrong. Come on, don't tell me you won. You didn't, did you? Come on, let's get to work. You didn't win. Or maybe he did. We shall never know. Another chest. We got a fang. Wait, are they just... Oh, wow. Details on enemies you have defeated. Oh, I thought they'd have more. They're weak against piercing and crushing. Oh. Ah, uh, I've just realized. The the type of attack it is actually shows you what it does. Because, like, Thunderfist for Ive had the crushing symbol. And I'm pretty sure it did say it did crushing damage. Cool. Core. The key ingredient in talent crafting, uncommon drop from beast-like creatures. The key ingredient, uncommon. I've gotten a horn from every bloody beetle I fought. Oh my god! Right, first strike. Kaboom! And... Kaboom. Right, bees down. Oh no! I just realised as well, it doesn't use up any Amri to use up the spuds. Nice. I'm assuming we're going to be finding more spud ammo. So we got 90. They give 47. Oh, maybe... Huh. I'm not actually sure if they do. Because I've been getting a first strike on every fight. So... It might just be... Oh. Oh, there's more enemies down there. It might just be the fact that because I'm getting the first strike, that's why I got 94 XP. Zabarum Temple. Hmm. But it's weird, because the game doesn't really have random encounters. Because it can't be classed as a random encounter if you can see the enemies. I thought I could have actually, like, looked at that and seen what it had said. Uh, chest! Get out of here. I could have maybe actually gone against three, but whatever. I could have lured this towards the others and then gotten into three fights. I've gotten into a fight with three enemies, but I don't know how powerful the enemies will be. Right, so that only gave me 25. Yeah, they're like rats. They're gross. Yeah, <laughs> look at them. A chirpy fire. Holy balls, that does a lot. Boop. Whip tail. It's a tail whip, and that was pretty effective. Oh, got a crit of 16. Damn. Yeah, I would have got a lot more experience had I gotten three enemies on one. Or in one fight, but never mind. We got a fire blast. Hey. What's his first can now use that instead of spuds? I do like the whole... It's not really a preemptive strike on this, but I do like the... Kind of pre preemptive thing. Does this actually lead any lead anywhere? Oh, the answer to that question is no. Yeah, it's kind of like a preemptive strike, but not really. It's all like your reaction, whether you can press A fast enough, and that will let you get a preemptive. Whereas normally, a preemptive would be to catch an enemy off guard, but I don't think you can do that, because even if the enemy's facing away from you, they will turn around and start to move towards you. What the fuck? Charge Omri... Attractor. Uh, uh, we're moving it. Ah, uh, that's cool. Gonna, not gonna lie, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing now. Activate. Okay, there we go. Now I got very confused with that. 
They realized I had to do multiple things. Kisses of lice. Oh, Liss. I'm assuming that's a revival thing. Resurrect a fallen ally. My god, I'm good. How does he have 300 health at level 1? That's yellow. So I need to find a yellow... Umbri thing. And I'm hoping my reading will get better as the game progresses, because, god, it's been pretty bad. It's like, I don't know, it's the way my mind works. I like add words into a sentence if I think it fits better. Which is really stupid. And it's not something I should do. It's just kind of something that happens. Oh no! Right, so there's that. But the question is, where the bloody hell is the console? Not Oh, it's up there. Never mind. Alright, come on. I do think it's kind of sucky that you have to activate it and then... Or you have to charge it, then activate it. Why couldn't you just do both? And then we can go over here and get the yellow. Hey! Hey! There's a thing. It's blue. Huh. Um... Interesting. Oh, wait. So I activate this. Boop. Now I can actually proceed. However, I'm curious if I can just... If I just charge... Is it charge or... How can I discharge this? Oh, wait, there you go. There you go. I didn't realize I could just deactivate it. It makes quite a lot of sense, really. There we go. Nice. Wait, oh, that's green. It's not yellow. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Oh, God. What the balls? Oh! You're a boss. A range attack that inflicts a magical exploding fire damage, 20%, 25% chance of inflicting burning. Cool. It's not on fire. We're doing a lot of damage though, wait a minute. He can do fire blast too? What the heck? Oh. Okay, so there's that. I think I'll have ba Benjo do fire blast. And then... I can't remember his name. Oh no! Just have him do uh, Spud Blast. He ain't gonna kill us. Nah. We're fine. No fairness, I might just switch. Amon is his name. Yeah, I might just switch, because I'm curious if I could steal. Oh, I killed it. Bollocks. Oh well, never mind. Level up. Hey! Tough enemy, no one died. And we got no money either. But we did get one talent point. Not bad. Da 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 da. Here it is, an ancient disc. Looks authentic. What is it? Uh, no idea. Some sort of ceremonial ornament? Yeah, perhaps. Well, excellent. Reckon we'll get a nice sum for it back home in Zaber. Let's go. I want to clean the shop and throw my feet on the table before we eat. What are we going to eat? The spuds. We got an old artifact. That was a pretty small dungeon, to be honest. It took about... 15 minutes-ish? Not bad. I'm sure the game will probably open up. Yeah, I'm certain. <laughs> Oh. It's a little frog. Do bosses get added to the beast... Beast diary? I'm assuming they do. Oh. Good scene. Again. Another. But I'm pretty sure the reason the game doesn't have, like, voice acting or anything is because it was a very... It was a rather small budget team. Uh, I think, anyway. It would make sense as to why it is rather limited in terms of dialogue. Now, there's lots of text, but that doesn't 
you know, need to be voiced. If it was voiced, it would have probably shot the budget, or shot the cost of the game up quite a lot. Find out where they're headed. <gasps> plants, keep Planks watered to correct... Oh, to the correct level. Okay. You're really well on our treasure hunts lately. I'm proud of you, I'm on. Thanks, Uncle. How the hell is that guy his uncle? He's a frogman. <laughs> or something. Here, let me give you some talents. You've earned it. They go on the talent board I gave you earlier. Now you can really hone your skills. Use the talents on the board to improve your stats and abilities. Remember, you can apply new talents at any time. Thanks. You should try it now. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, that's what this is. Welcome to the talent board. The talent board is used to upgrade the character by adding abilities, stat, or perk talents to it. Ability talents. These talents provide new abilities for that character. Ability talents are specific to each character but can be swapped for other ability talents of that character. Stat talent. The stat talent provides stat boosts to characters and can be swapped between any character. Perk talents. The perk talent provides passive abilities to characters and can be swapped between any characters. The origin talent is unique per character and is the source of power for the talents. All new talents must be connected to the origin talent to be to be active. Adding a new talent requires a talent point and that talent is added next to an already active talent. Add the mark target ability talent next to the origin talent. Okay. Oh, mark tar- uh, that's what he just gave me, I'm guessing. A ranged ability that lowers the target's defense against ranged attacks. Ooh! Not too bad. Know that the attack stat talent has also become active. Ah, so it's if they're joined. That's cool. Because it is now next to an active talent. Enjoy building and customizing the characters. Oh. So if I moved it to here. Or can I swap? Uh oh. I could make his armor go up instead. I'm assuming you can just switch. Swap and switch at will. Yeah, you can. I have like multiple might ones. That's so cool. Not enough talent po Okay, I see. Huh. Oh, look at these little things. Strong against fire, weak against ice. Oh. Cherub fire. Oh, the bo uh, bosses do. Oh, wow, they actually have proper... What is it, too? Cool. So, Temple Guardian. His type was a titan. Although the... Onurashi have not admitted to the theory, it is recorded in the Owl Tide archive that the Zabarum people desired a guardian of their temple city. One that would roam the grounds forever to protect them, and that an Onurashi custodian granted them their wish, raising the guardian from the stones themselves. Not too shabby. Okay, good. You head on up to Lady Ivandu and uh, sell the artifact. I'm gonna do some cleaning before I make her some beetle soup. Beetle soup? Again? Hey, it's delicious, and good for you. Bah. I need to remember the name. I'm on. Cool. Where can I rest? Inspect. Oh. Harriet makes some delicious Ninkasi potions, but when she's open is anybody's guess. Hmm. No, I'm also curious if I can just rest somewhere. Oh, look at him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Asking ye shall receive. Alright, let's go and see Lady Anassi. I don't even think I'm getting the names right at all, but whatever. It's Lady Avandu, I think. I just don't know any of the names. Oh, look at the little piggy thing. Also, there's two character models that are the exact same right next to one another. That's just too good. Hi there, stranger. You look lost. Uh, no, sir. I'm in Zaber. Am I not? You're in Zaber. I gotta run. Enjoy your stay. Okay. There is glory to be found in the arena. It will be mine. Oh, there we go. Lady Abandu. Hi, Lady Abandu. Hello, Amon. You have an artifact for me? Uh, yeah. Me and Benjo have found one. This disc. Let's see. Hmm. Intricate. Yes, yes. You know what it, this is? No, but tell your uncle I'll take good care of it. Here's $100 for it. Oh, $1,000 for it. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Here's... 
Oh! The Pigman! Sorry sir, that artifact is definitely from before the Deadly Halt. I've seen some of the symbols before on artifacts in the Great Archive. Our High Owl could probably figure out what it is. Excuse me, we're conducting business here. Great Deadly Halt, you say? And as at this Great Archive, you'll find out what it is? Uh, yes sir, I'm pretty sure we can, yes. Where's this Great Archive then? Amon, what are you doing? I'm supposed... Sorry, Lady of Andu. I might be a scavenger, but I'm really curious about this artifact. The Great Archive is in... Is in Suvia, at the House of the Owl Tide. Suvia? Well, that's far. Uncle would actually... Would be pretty impressed. You sure you can figure out what the di disc is? Oh yeah, sir. Pretty sure. We have some extraordinary things there, and always... Looking for more to expand our knowledge of the lost civilization before the Deadly Halt. You know this owl place? I sure do. I work for the House of the Owl Tide, sir. Will you help me get there? It would be my pleasure to take you. Great, let's go. I'm afraid I have to locate a woman named Olia Alagbato first. I have a message to deliver from High Owl. You haven't seen her? Heard of her? No idea who this Olia is. She here in Zaber? That's the thing. It's said that she's an everywhere and nowhere type. I'll help you find her if you help me find the if you help me with the artifact. That's most kind of you, sir. Call me Amon. I am not not Tiger Mouth, Tiger Moth, Hog Bunny and servant of High Owl Lady Lumia Risendale. Okay, I'm just Amon. Let's check with a scholar here in Zaber see if she knows where Olia is. I'll mark this down in my journal too. I like to keep a record of my travels for reference. So we get introduced to a journal. Friendship tutorials. Whoa. Oh, this is Nart's log. Okay. So I'm assuming it would be from bottom to top because it starts at Zubia, then the desert, then Zaber. I'm sad to leave Zubia, Zubia behind. A funny statement coming from a hog bunny, I know. We often reminisce about our wonderful Lango forest. I suspect it's not leaving the bustling streets, the plumes and scents and loud merchants that makes me wistful, but the books and knowledge of the Great Archive that, we wait, that I will be away from for quite some time. Lady Lumia did promise it would be a swift mission, that I would return to Suvia shortly, but something in my belly tells me otherwise. And I don't mean the rumbles. I was told it would be nice and cool up here in the... Dirigible? Now the captain's laughing at me, telling me that that's only for the high flyers, not the sand, sand carvers, as he calls these low flying airships. I'm down on my last bottle of water, and still all I see is a great burning desert stretching out in front of us, on both sides and behind us. I regret not taking the coastal route. On second thought, I even regret coming. The High Owl could have sent someone else instead. I'm no traveler, no adventurer. I belong by the candlelight and dusty boats. I finally reached Zaber. So much fascinating history seeping out from the sand and walls of this old town. I must remember to study the old well, old well before I return to Suvia. I don't regret leaving Suvia anymore, but I'm still thirsty. Now only to find this Olia Alagbato woman, a stray owl, Lady Lumia claimed. Wonder if I'll ever hear why. Hopefully Olia herself will be pleasant and chatty as we return to Suvia. Alright, cool. We also got a friendship tutorial, which is somewhere. Friendship? Is that that one? Okay, bond XP is gained by completing battles together in a pair. Try changing out the pairs to unlock more perks. On each new level of bond, a new perk is unlocked. At certain bond levels, a talent point will be gained, so it's good to level up all the bonds between the party. Perks. I'm confused. Oh, it's bonds. God, I didn't even notice it. I'm assuming we can't do those yet. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. We'll see, as the game progresses, I suppose. Use attack talents to increase, yep, damage from stuff. You have a speech bubble. Oh, you're yeah, the scholar. Hello, the High Owl sent, sent me. I have a message for Olia Alagbato. Would you happen to know where I might find her? As I heard, there was a rumor she was headed to Ramu. The Swamplands? Yeah, north of here, not far. I'll take you. Thanks for the help, Seeking, Seeking Owl. Farewell.